Okay, so this is the brand new 2024 Parker Sorento. And you can't have it because we've sold it, haven't we? We have. But you can have another one if you ask nicely. Um, this is Parker's new flagship. It's 33, 33 feet. It's got twin cabins with uh, one at the bow and one at the stern. It's got four berths. It's got three, twin 300 V8s. Go on, I'm getting a tongue twister today. And it goes very fast. It looks really sexy, so let's jump on board. Okay, so the first thing you notice about this boat is the twin 300 Mercury V8. And that pushes this boat to 47 knots, which is really fast. But if you don't want to go as fast, we can do twin 200 V6s, which will get you about 38, 40 knots. Um, but I think if you're going for this boat, these are the babies to go for. So let's jump on board. Okay, so come on board, Dan. Welcome to my boudoir. Now, you see that little door there? I'm gonna leave that till the end because I've got a little surprise for you. Okay, so come inside. And we have to remember, this boat is only 33 feet. So I think it packs an awful lot of punch. The first thing I notice when I walk on board this boat is the quality of everything. The mouldings are beautifully finished. All the stainless steel is high quality. The stitching, look at that stitching, Dan. The stitching is very, very cool. Um, the table is thick and heavy. Um, and everything's finished really, really nicely. So I think this is the best finished Parker I've ever seen. Do you agree? I do. You do. But has it got a price to match, Dan? Yes. Yes. So you do get what you pay for. This one, most of them are coming out about 300,000 ink vat. This one, the customer has ticked everything apart from the wrapped hull, and this one's coming out about 350. And is that including that? It is, yeah. Including VAT. So if you're going for export, we can sell it to you X VAT, and then the price will drop a little bit. Or you could buy a lower spec one, and we can get you down to probably 270 ink VAT. But it's that kind of price. So what's nice and interesting about this boat is it has a forward cabin and an aft cabin. But then it's got a bow rider and then it's got this big cockpit so it's something really really unique i've not seen anything like this before and if you distill that all down with the electric roof which i'll show you in a second i think it's a very very interesting proposition and just what i remember if you're enjoying our channel please press the subscribe button and the like because it makes me happy Okay, so this boat has got a few little tricks up its sleeve. It's a bit James Bond-esque. In fact, the screen system is called Q. So actually, I think there's a, quite a lot of James Bond in this, and we're gonna start with some James Bond moves because you pull these two hidden buttons here, and then you can slide this back to make a big sunbed stand. Do you wanna look at the sunbed? which you could get two people on there, if you like snuggles. And then you press the James Bond buttons and it disappears back. Then you've got another little button here, which, God, that is quiet. That is the quietest electric motor I've ever heard, Dan. And that, I won't do it all, but that goes right down and makes into another sunbathing area for you and your other half. And then, just right in front of us here, Dan, We've got another little seat which puts the backrest there, which means that I can sit there looking forward through the windscreen and even into the bow riding area. So I like that too, or you can have it that way. And they've even put a little Parker footstool there. I bet what you're wondering what's in there, aren't you? Well, that's the air conditioning, so we're not going to bother going in there, but it's really nice access. Okay, so on to the barbecue area. Before I start with the barbecue, I bet you're wondering what that is. Well, I certainly did. All the hoods all come round. You pull that button there, and they all fold away neatly out of sight, which I like a lot. You've got a huge barbecue lid, which lifts up like this. And what I also like I'm not going to demonstrate it, but you can slide it along and it can make a table there for food preparation. You've got your standard barbecue, 
your standard sink, and lots and lots of storage and drawers with cutlery gaps and blue things that look like they're part of gas canisters. Are they part of gas canisters? This, is, well, this, is gas. this one is gas. This yeah. is a gas barbecue. Okay. So no generator on this one. No generator. No, no ge no. generator. Um, and then you've got a little diddy window here, which we will leave for the end because that goes into a surprise area. We've also got fridges down below there and another one there. Yeah, which is quite nice. And we've got underfloor storage here. Every single nook and cranny has got something in it. It's either a system or it's a space or it's storage or it's beautifully designed. So let's look at the helm. Okay, welcome to my Bond lair. This is my trusty friend Q, which is the biggest screen I've ever seen on any boat ever. Why are you laughing? It's true, isn't it? Look at the size of that screen. Look, it's bigger than my head. That is a massive screen. This is called Q. Welcome, Q. And this is called C Command. And C Command is my little cursor, like you get on BMWs and Audis and things, that you can move your cursor around the screen. And actually, it works really, really well. You can see why it works well, because the screen is just so big. Look at the big buttons. It's got a map. We'll put a map there. We'll put a map. While that's doing that, we've got a auto trim tab system here. Um, we'll zoom that out because we haven't got the card in it. But there you go. We're in Essex. Look, there's England. Do you want to see England? We're here. Look. Do you know where we are, Dan? <laughs> there's London. There's Essex. There's France. Yeah, that works well. Um, auto trim tab system. Twin Mercury helm control, which is a pleasure to use, I must say. We've also got, very unusually, we've got twin bow thrusters. Well, sorry, bow thruster and stern thruster. That's the bow, that's the stern. That works well. Fusion music. We've got the electric sunroof here. I've only opened it a bit. You see, Dan? And I think, we've got a tester hall, haven't we? Oh, beautiful. Uh, it's a bit crap, to be honest. That is, you, that is not a If I was paying 300 grand, I would want a better horn than that. I'd want like a... Well, a Bentley horn. No, no. Do you know like the ones you get on the Mondo Gears? Oh, the upgrade You know, the twin, twin air. Yeah. Twin. Anyway, we digress. Let's try the shout window. Shout window. So, look, huge roof. It's a really, really awful March day with a noisy machine over there doing some works. But let's try it. Oi, get the fenders in. Let's explore the bow rider. Oh, there's Tom. There's happy Tom. Say hello, Tom, to YouTube. See, he's happy. He's happy today. Um, socks. These are my brand new socks. They're from Next, and they are... Do you know what they are, Dan? Zebras. They're, no, they're zebra heads. Zebras. You see the zebra heads? Well, they look like wasps. Yeah. No, they're zebras, and they're very, very comfortable. Anyway, there's going to be a bit of wind noise. So we'll be as quick as possible. But this boat has got a little bow rider like some of the sea rays that we sell. We've got this lovely sunbathing area, which has got three places to sunbathe, easy access to the anchor, nice depth of freeboard, we call this freeboard, um, big, big cleats. Okay, the rails are a little bit low, but remember it is a sports boat and it is only 33 feet. And if you come here, Dan, the windscreen is a, apart from the door, is a single piece windscreen, which I really like. Um, and it looks quite funky. And also you can see the size of the roof there, which is good. And I love all the details. Lovely stainless steel cup holders, stainless vents. I'm gonna, gonna try it out. Yeah, then. I'm gonna try it out quickly. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's go and see the cabin. Okay, so Dan, come, come forward into my accommodation. You've got the control panels here on your port side as you come in. And then at the bow, we've got this really nice cabin, which is twin berth, it fits me. It's got really nice windows. You've got the music control, air conditioning control, because this one has got air conditioning. We've got a little diddy cupboard here with some infills. I won't bother showing you that. Good headroom. I can stand up, I can get changed. And then stick your head in there, son. There's a lovely little toilet. And I suppose, I suppose, I should really do the, try to do the floss test, shouldn't I? The shower is actually not bad for 33 feet. I mean, I wouldn't want to spend a long time in the shower, but it will certainly do 
for a weekend. You won't want to be on here for a week. I do like the sink. I don't think it passes the floss test, to be honest with you. But I do like the coat hooks. In fact, it definitely fails the floss test, but it's 33 foot. I mean, that's tiny, isn't it? Oi, right, Dan. Yeah. Where are you? Down here, son. Where? I'm in the secret compartment. I don't think you can get through here, but there's a little door around here. How did you get in there? Well, as you know, I'm quite big, but there's a big door here, luckily. Oh. Come and have a little peek. It's nice and cosy in here. Okay, so this is the aft cabin. And actually, it's quite big. I could definitely sleep in here with the missus for a couple of nights. Could you do that, Dan? It's lots of space. The woodwork's quite nice. We've got a fusion music system here. We've got a, a, a big window at the back here. Dan, look. But actually, it's a really good space. And remember, this boat is 33 feet. I think this is amazing. Um, I like this cabin. It's nice. We've got a bit of carpet. A bit, little bit of carpet. I mean, if you have to renew the carpet, you're not going to get a big bill, are you? Okay, so we're going to go straight into the cost, and Dan's going to put me to one side of the screen so we can put them on the other side of the screen, aren't you, Dan? So section one is buying the boat. The boat costs $299,950, including UK VAT at 20%. Deposit of 30% is about 89,000. The finance advance is therefore about 210,000. And the payment per month, uh, based on those figures, if you borrowed that money, is 2,744 pounds a month. And that is based on a straight line repayment at about 10.3% APR. Don't complain at me, that is the current interest rate. And the finance per annum therefore is a very reasonable £32,000. Okay, so section two is fuel, which is petrol. We have got twin 300 Mercury Verado V8, non-supercharged. Anyway, at 20 knots, these will burn 80 litres per hour. You might do 22, 23 knots, but about 80 litres per hour for both engines. The petrol fuel price is £1.75 per litre in March 24. That's about £140 an hour. Average use of 50 hours per year gives you an adjusted cost for including leaving and entering a berth of about £5,600 per year. Okay, fixed cost, section three. Berth, about £8,000 per year in the UK in Southampton. Servicing for those two engines, about £1,500 a year. Maintenance, a couple of grand. Insurance, a couple of grand. Gives a total of about £13,500. Okay, so moving on to variable cost, section four. Depreciation, well, Dan and I had a bit of an argument about this, but we think it's about £15,000 in the first year, which is about 5%. It's a new model and there's not many being built, so I think you'll do quite well. You might even break even or, or even better, but a work on fifteen grand. Fuel, where well, we did that a minute ago, it was £5,600 per year with that amount of use. Finance, if you do finance, it is 32, nearly 33,000, which gives you a total variable cost bill of about 53,000 pounds per year. JB's measure of pleasure is section five. Well, the accommodation, I think it's pretty good. Two cabins, big cockpit, bow rider, eight out of 10. Style, we'll show you a picture of the outside now. It's a pretty funky boat. It looks very good. I love that little red detail by the window. It's eight out of 10. Fun. Well, if you go for the twin 300s, I mean, you're going to have a lot of fun. I can't imagine you having any more fun on any other boat. So I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, Dan. Running costs. Well, it's quite an economical boat to own. Obviously, if you give it loads of beans, it's going to use a bit more juice. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Quality is very, very good. There's a tiny little niggles which let the boat down, but they're only tiny things. And every boat has compromises, so I'm going to give it... 8 out of 10 for quality. You're happy with that, aren't you? Which gives a total score of 43 out of 50, which is 86%. I think this is a great boat for um, people coming into the market that don't want to spend an absolute fortune, but want to stay on the boat at weekends. It looks good. It offers all the things you need for a boat of this size. In fact, it offers a lot more than that and um, I think it should definitely be on the shortlist. <laughs> well, still laughing about the carpet? No, well, look, there's fenders. There's, yeah. there's three, 
it's, no, it's four fenders, because you definitely want four, don't you? Like yeah, two yeah. aside. Yeah, cool. But it's three fender holders. <laughs> and they're held in with like <laughs> liquor elastic. I mean, mind you, you could, you could, <laughs> you could, I think you deflate it and you put it in that one. Parker, no, come on. Parker, no, come on. Give us four fenders and four fender holders. 